Assassin's Creed Shadows got delayed. I wonder why. In a move that no one actually expected, Ubisoft delayed the release of Assassin's Creed Shadows. In a September 25th press release, the company said that they were pushing the game back three months to refine the experience. Quote, This is an ambitious addition to the franchise, a rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists. But we realize we need more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. As such, we've made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14th, 2025. The game will release on a broad range of platforms, including Steam at launch. Additionally, pre-orders will be refunded, and all future pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. Translation. We didn't realize players actually wanted a finished, working game on day one. So, we gonna release it a few months later so we can fix all the bugs and glitches we knew were there, but thought you wouldn't mind. It's bold for them to admit this, and they weren't the only ones. Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot, I'm sure I said that wrong, said the same thing in an internal memo, quote, In today's ultra-competitive market, players expect an extraordinary experience and ultra-polished games on day one. We need to continue to improve when it comes to fine-tuning our games and delivering outstanding gameplay. This is what will enable Ubisoft to again create the best games in the industry. Yeah, players aren't expecting the game to be ultra-polished. They just expect the game to work properly when it's released. Unfortunately, many publishers release games in an unfinished state. Guillemot's comment was about the recent Star Wars Outlaw game, which had a host of problems with the AI, game saves, and general bugs in the game. Many publishers release games in this broken state, relying on patches to fix things they already knew didn't work. Usually the developers take the hit for this, but sometimes this happens because the publishers want to release a game on a certain date and won't move the release date to give devs more time to fix things, even if the game is a mess. Worse, gamers have gotten used to this. As much as people complain about this problem, a lot of people still buy the games at release. That sends the message that gamers will spend their money even if they know the game is broken at launch, and developers and publishers got the message. To be clear, I don't think anyone wants to put out a broken game. But I do think a lot of people making games think gamers will keep giving them a pass. However, that goodwill has worn off. People are tired of games needing to get patched over months just to be an enjoyable experience. It took Star Wars Outlaws lower than expected sales performance for Ubisoft to understand the problem. This has gone on for years, especially with Ubisoft, so it had to be a major financial issue this time around for Ubisoft to want to course correct. That brings us to AC Shadows and the decision to bump the game back three months. The original release date was November 12th. Were there issues with the game that Ubisoft knew about but planned on ignoring? Now, delaying the game presents a financial issue for Ubisoft because the November release counted towards this year's fiscal earnings, but delaying it pushed it into the next fiscal year. Couple that with Outlaws underperformance, and this presents a major financial issue. Then there's Ubisoft's trend of forcing people to use their launcher, screwing over people who pre-ordered games, with Outlaws, pre-orders got early access, but when the game officially released, the new patch forced those players to have to delete their existing save file. And then there's Ubisoft's ridiculous season pass model. Gilliball says that the company will address these problems, but it's crazy that these were even problems to begin with. Why force people to use your launcher when they play through Steam or some other service? Why not inform players that early access save files might not carry over when the game is patched? Why do the season pass nonsense with people already coughed up 60 to $70? None of this is necessary, and it makes the games less enjoyable. It's one of the reasons I wait to buy certain games. I don't want to deal with this. Of course, Ubisoft also has a controversy over the character Yasuke, which Guillemot also addressed. Quote, Lastly, I'd like to address the recent polarized coverage around our creative choices. We are an entertainment company. As such, our objective is not to endorse any specific agenda. Our mission has always been to entertain players and enrich their lives with original and memorable experiences that resonate with a global audience. Translation. We didn't think anyone would care, but it looks like you did, so our bad. The backlash over Yasuke was one of the most predictable things I've seen in years. Obviously, people weren't going to like it. It looks like Ubisoft is playing into identity politics, so the right wouldn't like it. 
Japanese people would take issue with it because it's a weird choice to have a black lead for a game set in feudal Japan. You have an NBA player in the middle of Edo. He's literally going to stand out. This is such a dumb idea. The other problem is he's not an assassin. You know, the premise of the game. It'd be nice for Ubisoft to get back to that. Now, some people think that the delay might mean Ubisoft will reduce or remove Yasuke from the game. And I gotta say, that's not gonna happen. The game is more or less complete. There might be some technical issues with it, but it's basically done. Also, remember that Yasuke isn't the side character. He's one of the playable characters in the game. It would take a lot of work to reduce his presence while keeping him a playable character, and probably more work to cut him out the game, because this storyline probably crosses into Naoe's story. Five months might be enough time to make some of those changes, but I can't see Ubisoft doing that. It's not just a financial issue, but also an optics issue. Ubisoft probably doesn't want to be seen as giving into what they probably perceive as a hate mob that doesn't want any minorities in any video games. And before anyone jumps in to claim that that's not what you're complaining about, I didn't say it was. But if people have that perception, that's on you. At this point, most of the time there's any major backlash to a game, it's over someone calling the game woke, regardless of whether or not it is. And the people making those claims lost their plausible deniability a long time ago. That said, Ubisoft doesn't want to look like they're playing to the far left or the anti-woke right, so they've got a tight rope to walk. It's damn near impossible not to offend the easily offended, and now they gotta deal with it coming from both sides. If they focused on making great games that didn't need 57 patches to play well, that might actually help with their problems. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.